it isn't a straight horror movie, it isn't a traditional zombie movie, uh, it has a fantastical element, a sci-fi element. I think Paul introduced, introducing the character of Alice Mila Jovovich made it different to the game, so that when you go to see one of these movies, you don't just have to be a fan of the game to enjoy it, and if you are a fan of the game, you get something extra, which is the character of Alice. I think also we have a good villain in the Umbrella Corporation, the evil and all-powerful corporation, uh, always a good villain to have that, and uh, totally relatable in, in the modern world. The uh, story essentially is the, the journey of Alice to find out who she is, to find out why things were done to her and for her to take revenge. That is ultimately the, the principal narrative. In addition to that, there's a sub-narrative which is that she realizes she can save what's left of humanity. She's a very uh, fierce actress. She can convey focused rage very well. She's a very physical actress. She has tremendous screen charisma. The camera is very drawn to her. She really fills the frame uh, with her personality. So it's, she has everything you want from the star. She's magnetic. This film, as I said, has three distinct feelings, the desolate city, the, the road movie, and then the high-tech sci-fi component. So I think this film, I hope, takes the good environments from the previous films. But one of the things Paul and I always try to deliver to the fans is when they see the first trailer, they must feel like it's a Resident Evil they haven't seen before. I think franchises fall down when the trailer for the sequel comes out and the audiences go, oh, that reminds me of the last one. I feel like I've seen that movie. You've got to try to be original whilst giving them something that they're familiar with.